Good evening, everyone. Jim Dugan, candidate for Lake County Commissioner. Very nice to be with you this evening. Looking forward to answering some questions, giving you some uh, insight into my background and how I hope to serve you as your Lake County Commissioner. Please with, how did you get here? What is your life story to this point? Thank you, Dan. My life story to this point, I think can be summed up with uh, hard work, a uh, little bit of luck, and lots of support. Uh, my hard work really started, I'd say, high school football. I'm a North High graduate. Uh, we had a great uh, senior season, had a lot of great uh, teammates. I got recruited to play football at Princeton. That uh, I was a good student, but I uh, like to think that uh, I got to Princeton uh, through my hard work uh, uh, in football. Um, support, uh, I had lots of support. Uh, my parents were just terrific, Dick and Jean Dugan. I have great, uh, very loving uh, siblings. My four sisters, Linda, Debbie, Kathy, Carol, my brother John, all were great supporters uh, of me. Uh, then and now, I uh, uh, had a lot of luck with football. I didn't get hurt uh, in high school football. Uh, unfortunately, I had a little less luck uh, at Princeton. I had uh, knee surgery my very uh, first year. Um, but I worked hard at Princeton and uh, graduated with a degree in politics. I went on to law school at uh, Cleveland Marshall, uh, graduated there in 1980, and I've been practicing law for 40 years. Uh, maybe my best luck of all was meeting my wife, Amy, who's been super supportive. We've been together now for, we're gonna celebrate our 34th uh, uh, anniversary this year, and then really good fortune with the birth of my uh, three daughters, who are all adults now, Rachel, Maddie, and uh, Caroline, and they've been just terrific and supportive too, uh, all along. But lots of great mentors uh, during my 40 years of practicing law, uh, lots of uh, uh, great lawyers that I've uh, worked with uh, over time, and uh, it's got me here and uh, ready to serve Lake County as the next, one of the next Lake County Commissioners. Jim, what motivates you in life? Well, Dan, uh, a while back, I uh, read a book called uh, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. It's an older book, um, but I think a lot of people uh, have heard of it, written by Napoleon Hill and uh, Clement Stone. And there's a section in that book that talks about uh, the 10 major motivators in life. And one and main one, self-preservation, another fear or anger, but number two to self-preservation in his list, and really it's top of my list, it's love. But what I mean by that is uh, doing the best you can for those that you care the most about, uh, for those that you're closest to, uh, those that you're working on behalf of, uh, your community that you care a lot about. Uh, that's the biggest motivator in my life. Uh, uh, I care about uh, people and I do try to do my very best. I'm prepared and ready to do my very best for Lake County because I care very much about Lake County. And who was or is your role model? Uh, you know, I have a lot of role models. Uh, I've had a number of wonderful people that have been a part of my life. But I think my role model, if I could offer two, and they would be uh, my mother and my father. Uh, my father, um, folks, I think, would remember him. He was he passed away in 11, but he had been a sports cartoonist for the Plain Dealer for 38 years, uh, uh, drawing the Cleveland Browns, uh, Brownie and the Cavalier and the Indian, and he was so fun. But what I admired uh, the most about him was his work ethic. He was a hard worker. He, uh, in addition to working at the Plain Dealer, he always had a... Uh, uh, his own uh, advertising business to try and support all of us because 
There were six of us all one year apart. Uh, but just the uh, very hard worker and very dedicated to his family. And my mother, uh, similarly, very dedicated to our family, very hard worker, um, very emotionally uh, supportive, uh, uh, fiercely uh, supportive of uh, uh, me and my siblings. And uh, for all those reasons, I would say both uh, my father, Dick Dugan, and my mother, Jean Dugan, are my role models. What, who, what or who, I guess, is your favorite Ohio sports team? Boy, that's a tough one because I am a big Ohio uh, sports uh, team fan. Um, of course, I'm partial to football. That was my main uh, sport. Uh, I've always loved the Cleveland Browns, even through this tough stretch uh, that we've experienced with the Browns. Um, but I think my very favorite team is the uh, Ohio State uh, Buckeyes, uh, their football team. Uh, I um, was very lucky in recent years. My daughter, Rachel, graduated from Ohio State, so I got to be present for a number of games. Um, but I, uh, I'm a big Indians fan, big Cavaliers fan, but eh, number one, Ohio State Buckeyes. Go Bucks. Jim, what was the best phase in your life? I think the best phase of my life, Dan, was the period in about 2001 to 2011. And I say that because uh, I was on the planning commission in Perry Village, and we planned a housing uh, subdivision called Dugan Farms. Now, that Dugan uh, name, it was not after me. It was named after the uh, uh, Dugan family that had the nursery uh, business, and those on the east end of the county will remember the Dugan uh, nursery business. They were one of the oldest nurseries out there. But uh, we ended up buying a lot there and we built our home uh, on that subdivision. We moved from Main Street over to Dugan Farms. And all my uh, daughters were young and uh, we ended up uh, being real close to the school and very active uh, with uh, the Perry schools. My daughters, uh, all were real good athletes, and we attended uh, probably every soccer game uh, from 2001 to uh, 2011. All three of my daughters were a four-year letter, lettermen for uh, soccer. Uh, they were in uh, show choir and in uh, uh, regular choir and uh, track and basketball. It was just a tremendous uh, period of time uh, for us, a very fun period of time. Uh, uh, we loved our house on Dugan Farms and I really enjoyed uh, the experience of uh, uh, being part of my daughter's uh, life, lives as actively as we were during that uh, period of time. Thank you. Now what's an ideal weekend for you? What do you like to do on, on a weekend where you can just write all the rules? Well, it's rare that I get a weekend uh, like this, but uh, an ideal weekend for me would be uh, uh, not to have any particular meeting, maybe on a Saturday uh, morning, and I can uh, get up and have a coffee and, uh, uh, frankly, visit uh, with Amy, my wife, uh, uh, without uh, having to rush off uh, somewhere. Uh, Amy works for uh, Crossroads. She's got her master's in social work. She's real busy, too, working every day. Um, of course, with the virus now working more at home, uh, but starting that way, maybe having a chance to uh, watch the Ohio State uh, football game that day, uh, going into the evening, have a nice uh, dinner. I'm a big uh, Saturday Night Live fan to get a chance to uh, see the uh, latest episode is always fun. On, on Sunday, I, uh, I tried to do this regardless, but I enjoy going to our church, uh, St. James uh, Episcopal Church is our church and uh, we've been members there uh, for 35 years. I've been on the uh, uh, foundation uh, twice and I'm uh, currently a member of the uh, vestry. I enjoy uh, visiting with uh, folks there. Um, of course, if it's a football season, maybe I get a chance to watch the uh, Browns uh, that afternoon. And again, kind of uh, cruise into the evening with a nice uh, uh, dinner with the family. And uh, of course, 
I, uh, I've had a private practice for 25 years uh, here in Lake County, and I'd have to uh, have some time to get some work done in between all that. Uh, that also would be an ideal weekend uh, for me. Jim, what are some things you would like every Lake County resident to know about you? I think I'd like every Lake County resident to know that uh, in the 40 years that I've been practicing law, 33 years uh, of those 40, I've been a lawyer uh, for Lake County in one capacity or another. Going back to 1981, I was a assistant public defender and uh, worked with some great people in that office, uh, John Trevitz and uh, Karen Lawson and uh, former Congressman Steve LaTourette, uh, Jeff Ferkel some outstanding people. Uh, and from there, I was a law clerk with uh, Judge Hoos at his uh, juvenile court and uh, served as referee too with Judge Hoos. Then went into private practice uh, and for a few years uh, with uh, Green, Tully, and Urians, and then on to uh, the Cafaro Company. Uh, I was in-house counsel with the Cafaro Company. A lot of folks up here might not know uh, that name, but they're one of the top shopping mall developers in the world, and it was a real privilege to uh, be with them uh, in the uh, early 90s. Uh, I came back to Lake County um, in 1995 and uh, was a, uh, hired in, in the uh, prosecutor's office, and I've been with the prosecutor's office now for uh, 25 years, and real proud of my uh, service there. But the short of all that is I have a lot of experience with Lake County. I know Lake County real well, and I am very confident that I can serve the citizens of Lake County very well as one of your Lake County commissioners. Thank you. Jim, we are on to everyone's favorite question, the genie question. No tricks. You can't wish for more wishes. You can't say, oh, I'll save them for another day. Jeannie grants you three wishes. What are your three wishes right now? Well, number one, Dan, would have to be that uh, we find a cure for COVID-19. Uh, the number of deaths, the amount of suffering, the uh, devastation it's caused the uh, economy and to so many people's uh, uh, friends, family, their daily lives, uh, boy, Jeannie, I wish you could uh, help us out and uh, find us the cure. Uh, second, I guess, would be my, would be a personal wish. Uh, You're allowed, though. Yeah, thank you. If I could go back in time, I would go back to uh, Princeton football. Um, freshman year, we're playing a game in uh, Maryland. And it's the last play, and I'm playing linebacker, and this tackle's coming at me, and uh, we're only up by a touchdown, so I can't let this uh, uh, running back get past me. But, boy, that tackle got right into my knee, and, uh, uh, and the running back got past me, but tackled before the uh, touchdown. But if I could go back in time, I w would uh, take one step to the left and avoid that tackle, and I never would have had knee surgery. And uh, I... Uh, Unfortunately, it has been uh, difficult for me. I haven't been able to do some of the things I would like to have uh, done over time, uh, the jogging or the aerobics. And I mean, I did my share, but not without some pain. Third one, um, boy, if, uh, if I could have this wish, that uh, truly there would be no uh, racial prejudice, no gender bias, that uh, everybody would uh, stand on their own merits, would be judged on their own merits. Uh, that is uh, wholeheartedly a uh, uh, wish that I, I would make if, uh, if I was fortunate enough to have that genie uh, grant me that wish. Thank you. Now, what is something you can't go a day without doing? I, I don't go a day without, uh, and usually it's the end of the day, but I give thanks. I give thanks for all the blessings in my life, um, particularly my wife and my daughters, but 
all the good things that have uh, happened uh, that are part of my life. Um, I uh, truly uh, um, say my thanks uh, every day. Um, on a lighter note, I can't go a day without having a couple good cups of coffee. And what is an accomplishment that you are proud of? What's maybe the accomplishment you're most proud of? Uh, I um, think back to my days on uh, school board with uh, Painesville City, and uh, there's a couple accomplishments uh, as uh, president of the Painesville School Board. I uh, very much was a part of uh, Painesville uh, City Schools, as they were known then, uh, entering into Lake County Financing District. And the Lake County Financing District um, was uh, designed at the time to allow the uh, districts that surround the nuclear plant to be able to share in the tax uh, revenue of the nuclear plant. Uh, that took a lot of effort on uh, our part as a board then, but uh, the uh, people of uh, Painesville supported it. It literally was a, a two for one uh, on the dollar uh, uh, result. And uh, that financing district levy benefited enormous number of people then and has been renewed every five years now for, well, the last 30 years. Uh, so it's benefited huge, huge number of uh, uh, families, students uh, throughout all those districts. Maybe my other favorite accomplishment was uh, on Painesville School Board. We... Uh, our students at the time had placed second in the state in track, and uh, Harvey really had an old cinder track next to Harvey High School, and we wanted to get them a, a nice uh, all-weather track and uh, redo Jack Britt Stadium. And uh, we succeeded with that, uh, getting the funding for that. Uh, that was, uh, stadium was built then in uh, 1991, so we're coming up on the 30th anniversary of that stadium. But again, that uh, project uh, benefited an enormous number of uh, uh, students in Painesville, and hopefully, and I know it did, it's brought in, and that was the idea at the time, bring in business uh, to Painesville. Uh, I know that they uh, hosted the uh, Chagrin Valley Conference track meet down there in the past, and they hosted the uh, Dick Beeler Invitational in the past, and always the hope was people would stop at one restaurant or one store or another in uh, Painesville after all those events. And then ultimately now, uh, Lake Erie College has uh, utilized uh, the Jack Bridge Stadium and the facilities there for all their Division II athletics and all the students they've been able to attract from around the world because of that really fine facility down in Painesville Flats. Jim, where do you find meaning in your life? I find meaning most in my life today, uh, practicing law. I, um, originally, I don't think I quite uh, saw the service that uh, is provided by lawyers, uh, but I see it uh, with the best clarity uh, today. It is a tremendous uh, service, and uh, I get uh, tremendous satisfaction doing a good job for those I represent and uh, means uh, doing my very best to be certain that uh, they're very satisfied with uh, the legal services I provide them. And who is your favorite historical figure? We've had some conversations about some ones that may stick out, so I'm interested to see your answer here. Thank you. I have a number of uh, favorite historical figures. Um, but I have to say that my favorite historical figure is uh, the gentleman that I have on my uh, wall here, uh, George Washington. I, um, I'm a big fan of uh, Ron Chernow's uh, books, um, and uh, he has uh, written the book on Hamilton and uh, that the play was based off of, but he has a tremendous book on Washington, also a tremendous book on uh, Ulysses Grant. Um, but George Washington, uh, you know, Amy and I uh, 
with our children, trying to teach them uh, values. Um, and uh, one value we tried to teach is courage. And there is no one in our history, in my mind, that had more courage than uh, George Washington uh, to have faced down the, <laughs> the uh, world's uh, biggest army and uh, defeat them. I did have uh, good assistance from the French in the end. But, uh, but uh, for a long time, it was uh, George Washington and all his uh, um, armor soldiers uh, challenging uh, the greatest army in the world. And what courage that took, and none of us would be here uh, without it. My favorite figure, George Washington. What is the best story from your life? That's difficult in some ways, but in some ways it's real simple. I, my best story is my wedding day. Um, and uh, that's back in 1986. Um, I um, uh, really loved that day. Uh, I, uh, of course, was blessed to uh, marry Amy, uh, but I think back of the fun we had at our reception, uh, Normandy Party Center in Wycliffe, and all the people that came uh, uh, from uh, all around the county and uh, friends from Princeton and uh, all times past. And uh, just what a wonderful, wonderful uh, day uh, we had. And it started, uh, frankly, a wonderful relationship uh, too with uh, St. James uh, Church. Um, uh, that would be my favorite memory. Jim, what is the one thing that bothers you most about the world today? What bothers me most about the world today is that for whatever combination of reasons, uh, we don't have a singular leader who can bring the world together, bring the effort together, an effort maybe similar to the effort that our country put into landing a man on the moon. That kind of effort to defeat this virus, uh, to find a cure for this virus. Uh, people are dying all around the world. People are prior to their death uh, suffering uh, miserably. Uh, we need uh, leadership. We need uh, everyone to put aside the differences, uh, come together uh, all corporations, uh, all governments, uh, truly, genuinely work together, find, ideally, the cure. Jim, what is your favorite movie? Boy, um, when it comes to movies, generally I'm someone who uh, enjoys a comedy. Uh, that might be because of my... Uh, father's background as a sports cartoonist, um, but I really enjoy a comedy, but I can't really think of a one comedy I, that I would favor. I'd have to say my favorite movie is actually a documentary film, uh, the Ken Burns series on the Civil War. Mm. History is really my favorite subject, and particularly American history, and he did such a brilliant job uh, in that uh, documentary series. I've watched a number of the uh, uh, DVDs in that series a number of different uh, times. Uh, and um, been to Gettysburg. I uh, would love to go to other sites if I have time in my uh, lifetime. But I uh, have to say my favorite movie is that series of movies, the Ken Burns series on the Civil War. And what is your favorite book or novel? Um, you know, I mentioned before uh, Ron Chernow's uh, work, and uh, he is a tremendous author. I don't know how many, how much everyone knows about him, but what I like about his work is uh, um, he really was not somebody who studied uh, history. He wanted to be a novelist, so his books are written more like novels. And I just finished his book on Ulysses S. Grant, another great Ohioan, and... Uh, 38 CDs, most of the time I listen to books on tape more than uh, 
read the books and some reading uh, most of the time during the day. But uh, his uh, book on Ulysses Grant, uh, Start to Finish, is uh, just a uh, truly a work of art, a uh, brilliant uh, caption and capture of, uh, of an individual who, uh, you know, without his uh, leadership, um, and I acknowledge that uh, he is and was an early Republican. Uh, there is uh, no doubt in my mind that we would still have a North and a South. And, uh, and certainly that was one of the toughest times in our history. But uh, thanks to USS Grant, we're still one nation. What's a skill that you wish you had? Uh, I think... Uh, the skill I wish I had is maybe a combination of skills. Uh, I am not a handyman, and uh, I genuinely uh, wish I was handier to be able to do a measure of plumbing, to do a measure of uh, carpentry, uh, to uh, uh, work the cars at all. That's not me, I'm afraid. I have to rely on... Um, all others who have those kind of skills, which I genuinely admire uh, and uh, am often envious uh, and uh, try as I might, and I do try, I could try harder, but uh, I would love to be a handyman. And Jim, how do you wish to be remembered? I hope that uh, when I'm gone, I'm remembered as uh, that I was a good son, that I was a good uh, husband, a good father, that I uh, was kind to uh, uh, the majority of people, and that, uh, that I was smart, that I did do uh, some smart uh, work in my day, uh, and ultimately that uh, I was someone that uh, made my contribution to the uh, greater good of uh, my community in the world. Exactly. Let's begin. What is your favorite word? My favorite word? Uh, boy, that is... Uh, uh, that's a challenge, uh, Dan. My fa one favorite word. I'll say my very favorite word is uh, victory. And what is your least favorite word? Uh, my least uh, favorite word... I believe, um, well, my least favorite word. I'm sorry, uh, folks, uh, for my delay in coming up with a least uh, favorite word, but uh, can I uh, bear with me? I'll say uh, defeat. <laughs> what is your favorite sound? Also difficult. Uh, my favorite sound, uh, I think... When I think back, I would say the sound of any one of my daughter's voice, uh, particularly uh, when they are uh, singing any particular song. They were uh, uh, Rachel and uh, Caroline, great uh, sopranos, and uh, Maddie, uh, great uh, alt alto. And what is your least favorite sound? Uh, my least favorite sound... Uh, my least favorite sound, I say, is uh, the alarm clock when I'm not ready to get up yet. Was a job or occupation you'd always like to try? I would love to be able to try uh, to be a pilot. I've uh, always wanted uh, to do more traveling. It would be wonderful to be able to... Uh, um, have that ability to uh, uh, really, uh, on my own, rent a plane and travel to uh, where I'd like to go. And what is a job or occupation you don't feel you would do well as? Um, well, uh, we talked about handyman, so there's a, a range of those that I know I wouldn't do well in, but. But I also, you know, one of the, uh, I genuinely admire the uh, courage of all the astronauts uh, 
of today. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, all the people that uh, challenged everyone in the Middle Ages who said that the uh, world is flat, uh, but they had the courage to uh, travel across the ocean and find the new world. I think these all these astronauts, I greatly admire their courage. I don't think I have that kind of courage uh, to fill that kind of uh, role. I like to think I have courage, but that is the utmost courage. And now our final question. If heaven exists, what would you like God to say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Uh, well, when I arrive at the pearly gates, and I am someone that very much uh, believes in heaven, and uh, uh, another great book, uh, Evan Alexander, uh, Proof of Heaven, a uh, brain surgeon who uh, had an out-of-body experience after getting uh, E. coli and uh, visits heaven. Uh, he doesn't use any particular religious denomination, um, and I, if anyone uh, picks this book up, try to pick it up on tape because you've got to hear him describing uh, heaven as opposed to uh, reading about it. Um, but I'm hoping that, uh, that, number one, I will be there, and number two, he'll say, welcome, job well done. Thank you. Thank you.